Well, 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 welcome back to the Deborah Peters show. And today is a very special segment. I've been working on this now for a few days. I, um, I taught the last module of this recent shift, change and heal your money story course um, yesterday. And uh, hey, Jimmy, glad to have you join me. So when I prepared for the class yesterday, um, I thought to myself, you know, there's a lot of really good stuff in this, uh, in this class, in this module that I'd love to share on my show. And I, you know, look, we don't have a ton of time, um, but I do want to give you some really high points because here we are, it's like the downhill slide of 2018. And I know a lot of people went through a lot in 2018. So um, it's about creating a new reality. And, you know, I've never really been a proponent or someone that thought because we're flipping the page of the calendar that things were actually going to be any different. You know, I, I think most times people make resolutions and they think things are going to be different, but my my mantra is if you want things in your life to change you have to change things in your life and the number one thing you have to change in your life is is how you think it's it's how you relate to yourself hey ted nice to have you um so today i want to go through some tools that i taught in the last module yesterday i taught the final module of the shift change and heal your money story course and that particular module was called creating a reality beyond this reality so not very many people really think that they can do that a lot of people think that they're stuck with what they have and um, i'm here to tell you that everything is changeable so here we are creating a whole new reality beyond this reality where to begin? Well, first, let me say this to that, that whatever it is that you're living right now, whatever reality that you find yourself currently in is simply a product of your thinking. It's a product of your beliefs. You know, our beliefs are really just a compilation of thoughts that we think over and over and over and then those thoughts become an algorithm and so we decide because they keep showing up for us that they're true sometimes those are beliefs that are taught to us you know you um, show me a boy or a girl at seven years old and i'll show you the man or the woman that they will become because that programming all takes place between zero and seven Whatever we're teaching our children between zero and seven is who they actually become. And then they play that out in their lives. And if it's a empowering program, then they think that they're, they're empowered and they act as if they're empowered and they are empowered. If it's a disempowering program, if it's abusive or there's any kind of tra trauma or shock going on, um, then they play that out and they become that and then they feel like victims. So the wonderful part of this is I believe this year is different that we're walking into 2019. And what I think and know is different about it is that humanity is at a new level of consciousness, a higher level of consciousness than it ever has been ever in the past that kind of awareness actually compounds on itself my mom had this saying that at the time i never understood which i totally get now that um you know things keep things can only get worse until they get better and I was like, what the hell does that mean? And I understand it now. You know, when we get into this downward spiral and we keep looking at what's not working, 
then we keep perpetuating the, the downhill spiral and the downhill spiral just becomes deeper and deeper and deeper. And so it goes with an upward spiral. You know, when you're on a high and you get up and you're like ready to conquer the world and you feel like you're unstoppable, you literally are unstoppable. And that just keeps getting better and better. Now, there's a concept in the tarot deck called the wheel of fortune that the wheel is always turning you know we look at markets hey curtis markets are cyclical right um speaking of curtis you know i grew up on a farm uh pretty close to curtis's farm in canada and you know we would have these cycles in the crops that we were growing or the pricing on the crops and then they'd crash and it's like the real estate market in California if you're in California. So, you know, we look at these kinds of things and we react to them. And where I really want to go with today's show is I want to give you some tools to actually go into 2019 with and I think I'll probably do another show on Tuesday. So by the way, these shows air Tuesdays and Fridays at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then what I do is I take the recording and I pop it up onto my YouTube channel. So if you go to my YouTube channel, um, it's listed under my company name. And that's Neuroengineering Institute. If you go to my YouTube channel and you subscribe, there's a whole bunch more tools on there. I just, I have over a hundred and some videos that I've loaded on there. And some of them have um, their meditations. Some of them are energy pulls. And if you guys want to stick around today, hey, Steve Gordon, nice to have you. If you guys want to stick around today, I'll show you how to use, how to pull energy um, that you can use to create some experiences and some outcomes for yourself going into next year. And I'll explain that concept before I actually walk you. It, it takes like about five minutes. I can walk you through a, an abbreviated version and I'll explain to you the, how, why doing an energy pull is so powerful. Hi, Francisco. Nice to see you. You know what I would really love from you guys is if maybe you would, um, just send me a message as to what you would like to get out of this show because i can bring in any toolbox any topic i can cover off whatever it is that you would like to have some assistance with and some some growth around um, and it'd be my pleasure to do so so in today's show we're going to focus on really making a a powerful step from 2018 into 2019. I don't want you to exit this year with your tail between your legs, feeling like, oh my God, I'm glad it's over. I got my ass kicked this year. And you know, I've been licking my wounds for the last like 60, 90 days, just riding it out until the year ended. So 2019 could begin and I could have a better experience of life. That is not gonna get you anywhere. You'll just enter 2019 in a negative state of mind. And the best way that you can overcome any sort of setback you've ever had is to just shift your mindset. You have to get into a place where you are managing your emotions, you are managing your state of mind, and you are creating internally what it is that you want to create externally. Because that's the way that everything that you want to experience, hey, Stephen, comes into fruition. It comes through your state of mind. So as I was building out the curriculum for yesterday's module in my Shift, Change and Heal Your Money story course, um, the last module was creating a reality beyond this reality. And I already had the curriculum mapped out like months ago, but I, I had this really, um, hey Stacy. Hey, HC, nice to see you. I had this really uh, conscious group of people that went through the course and um, I felt like they could have, they could use like higher level material on the last module. So I sat down yesterday morning and I went through the curriculum and I started revamping it. And I decided 
that um, what we really needed to focus on in order to create a reality beyond this reality was uh, to focus on really who you're being. And I talked a little bit about this in the last show, and I want to take it to another level of conversation. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys would type in a message to me and tell me what it is that you'd like me to cover. Because in this segment and every segment, I can cover whatever you're looking to gain some traction on. And I can give you some tools around that. Because I have coached all kinds of people all over the world. I've led a trade mission to another country. I took a group of investors to Central America. I've designed training programs, mindset training programs for the FBI. I've coached heads of state. I've coached uh, leaders, executive leadership of Fortune 500 companies. I've worked with all sorts of um, SMEs. I've delivered speeches and trainings in over 16 countries. I've been doing this for the last 20 plus years. And I've negotiated a trade agreement between two countries. Whatever it is that you need some help with, I can assist you. So go ahead and just, I'm going to give you guys a minute to type into the comment box what it is that you would like to have some guidance on as we exit this year and we're going into next year. Hey, David and Marcus and Tony, good to see you guys. Um, so as I was preparing this curriculum yesterday for the Shift Change Heal Your Money Story course that I just wrapped up, what I really focused on was who are you being? And something really resonated with me as I was writing out the curriculum. And sometimes for me what it is is it's, hey, hey, Marcus. <laughs> it's like a stream of consciousness. You know, it's, it's like I sit down and it just rolls out of me. And a lot of times I get the inspiration where, I, where you know, I'm, I'm either out trail running in the mountains or I'm in the gym lifting weights or do maybe dancing, like dancing. I always get a lot of inspiration. I have this saying, you know, dancing is like the best endorphins. And for me, it's I can't go dancing and not smile. When I come home after a night of dancing, my face hurts because I've, I've been smiling all night long. I can't understand how people can dance and not smile, for God's sake. I see people on the dance floor with these sour looks on their face. I'm like, that doesn't compute to me. Like, there's to me, that's a disconnect because dancing is just such a happy experience. But anyway, I digress. Um, so as I was making these notes, I said to myself, um, wow, hold on, Francisco. I like you for being so far. Can this be deciphered? Fatal attraction. <laughs> You're funny. That's so funny. No, I'm, uh, I'm not the marrying kind. Sorry. But thank you. That's really cute. Um, so here's the deal, guys. Never doubt your power. On that note, Francisco, never doubt your power. Your power is your destiny. And so what are you doing with that? Apparently, there was a journalist that uh, was following around Gandhi. And Gandhi was on a train and the train was pulling out of the station. And the journalist shouted out, Gandhi, Gandhi, what's your message? And Gandhi shouted back, my life is my message. That is my message. And so I say to you, your life is your message. Your life is your destiny. And when you get out of bed every day, you really have an opportunity to make a decision what you're going to do with that message. And I have people texting me. Um, Whoever's texting me, I can't do this show and respond to your text at the same time. Well, not effectively anyway. So what is your, what is your destiny? And when you get up in the morning and you have this opportunity to create fresh, you know, when you go to sleep at night, you kind of put, hit the pause button on worry and stress and you kind of wake up in the morning and you're in this neutral zone 
And you have a few seconds where you can jump into your day from a whole new place. But you see, the problem is, is that most people get up, wake up in the morning, and the first thing they do is they start reviewing yesterday. And when you get when you wake up in the morning and you know you're still lying in bed and you're either on your phone looking at your email and or you're reviewing yesterday and you're thinking about whatever went wrong, what struggles you've got going on, then you actually drag all of that into your day and you never give yourself a chance to really create fresh. I really believe that as we shift more especially coming into this new year. I think with technology and science, we're gonna see a blend of, of science and spirituality and art and business. I think it's all coming together. At least that's how I see it from my vantage point. And I travel all over the world, speaking, training, coaching. I've worked with billionaires, I've worked with multimillionaires, and I've worked with mom pop shops. So there's real clarity that I come with in terms of how the mind works and the power of the mind. And you really have a great opportunity right here now to make a decision about what it is that you are going to focus on and create as a future. Your words are so powerful. Never discount the power of your words. Take the time before the, the words leave your lips for you to really ask yourself, is this something that I really want to put out there? Is this really going to create the outcome that I would like to create in this given moment? If you look at the power of your words, when I was saying before that we have a, um, a blending or a marriage coming together of science and art and business and spirituality, what I mean by that is we're coming to an understanding probably for um, the first time in history in thousands of years because I believe there were civilized, civilizations before us that totally got this. And that we're just kind of getting around to taking ownership of what it is that we're creating with our thoughts, with our words, and with our energy long before it has anything to do with our deeds. So what I believe is, is happening is within this marriage, there is a creation taking place. And what that creation is, is that we have to, if we want to thrive, you don't have to do anything. Let me just say that. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to believe anything I say. You can just create your own reality and I'm totally cool with that. But if you really truly would like to create a reality beyond this reality, if you'd really truly like to go into next year, in a completely different energy so that you can create and attract different experiences and people, then there's merit to what I'm saying. Because within this marriage of our spirit, how we function in our businesses, um, the words that we use, the art that we create, we're art, our beingness is art. Um, it's about being diligent in what it is that we put out there because every word, you know, every word is like a universe. It has inherent within it deep meaning. So never discount the words that you're using. Never just throw out a bunch of crazy words you know, really be aware of what it is that you're creating with the statements that you're making, especially to yourself. You know, it's one thing to put it out there to the world, but it's a whole other situation in the private workings of your mind. 
how you really talk to yourself, how you really relate to yourself is where it all starts. And in your relationship dynamic with yourself, in how you talk to yourself, the words that you use have vibration. They're made up of energy. And inherent in each one of those words is reality. And I've never said it like that before. It's, um, this is kind of like a stream of consciousness that I'm doing right here. And I have like two pages of notes, which I probably won't get through them all. And that's okay, you know, just in this show, in this segment, creating 2019, you are your destiny. It's not what you do. It's not the job that you have. It's not the material possessions that you collect. Hey, Victor, nice to see you. It's who you're being with you. That is the legacy that you're leaving on this planet. That's the impact. That's the footprint. You know, we talk about our footprint, our carbon footprint, our plastic footprint. You know, what is your vibrational footprint? When you walk into someone's life, do you leave them feeling better? Or are you pulling energy from them? So, you know, recently someone called me and said, you know, I really need to see you. Mm, I really need to hang out with you. I really need to spend time with you. And um, I was like, okay, so whenever somebody needs to spend time with me, I'm like, what's that about? Um, and, you know, this person said to me, well, you know, I just feel better when I'm around you. Don't you ever just feel better when you're around certain people? And so my question to you is, you know, do you feel better when you're around certain people? Because if you do, then those are the people you want to hang out with. Hey, Gunther. Um, but at the same time, you want to be contributing to that relationship, not just taking. And I said to this person, yeah, I mean, there's lots of people I feel good around, but most importantly, I, I feel good around me. So I don't look to other people to provide me with my happy energy. I don't, need to be around someone else and take that energy from them. Hey, Charlene, nice to see you again. Thanks for joining in. Um, we want to become solvent, meaning we can hold ourselves up emotionally. We can hold ourselves up spiritually. We can hold ourselves up mentally, where we don't need to be pulling energy from other people to be whole. Remember the Jerry Maguire movie um, where the couple were in the elevator and they were signing, you complete me? And, you know, okay, so it's romantic, lovely. And at the time I was thinking to myself, wow, that is so adorable. <laughs> then I'm like, wait a minute, that is so codependent, right? So, Learn to fill your own emotional cup. Learn to cultivate your own thought patterns. Learn to dial into your own inner relationship, like who you're being with you, how you're talking to yourself. Are you telling yourself that in your life there's some kind of deficit? Because when you say to yourself, there's something wrong with my life, you're actually creating a deficit. I, I just got off the phone with a, a young woman that um, was asking to enroll in my next shift change and heal your money story course. And, you know, the whole call was her uh, talking about her lack, her scarcity, her limitations, her fear, her doubt. And I said, well, wow, there's no, no wonder that you find yourself struggling because this storyline you have going, this narrative about 
how challenged you are and how difficult things are and how this, the, you know, I could just go on and on and on is actually what's creating your own reality. So when we choose words, the words, the talk, the conversation in our head, we are all having a conversation in our head all day long. And it's time that you start paying attention to whatever that conversation is and changing the narrative to be about the things that you would like to create in your life because your life is your destiny. Your life is your legacy. It's not what you do. You could have the most mundane job, but you could do it with the greatest flair. You could do it with the greatest dedication and the highest vibration. And that would make a difference in the lives of so many people. And that's really what I'm asking you is, are you willing to be that change? Because most people aren't. Most people want their circumstances to change, but they don't want to change themselves. And they think if they're with this person or own this car or have this zip code or, or, or know these friends, then that's going to be the answer. And they're so busy looking outside of themselves that they really never truly get to know themselves. So is that you? Is, is that how you approach your life? Is that how you consider your greatness is all about how much money you've accumulated or what you're driving or who you're hanging out with and what they do for a living and how important they are? I'll, t I'll share a story with you. A few, a few months ago, I invited a producer to meet with me to discuss my show. And I'm in this process of inter interviewing um, different producers to see if they're the right fit. And I'm in no rush, you know, unlike the different folks out there that are begging and starving for someone to acknowledge them. I acknowledge me. So I'm in no rush. And it really has to be the right person that gets it. Because if I have to explain it to them, then they really truly don't get it. So I had a meeting with this person and um, we had a cocktail, we had a conversation. The entire meeting, this person did not ask me anything about my show. All they did was went on and on and on about how great they are. And I thought to myself, and finally I just had to say it, look, if I didn't think that you were accomplished to do this, I wouldn't be having this conversation with you. So can we actually have a conversation around the project? And that was the end of the meeting because that person was so insecure that they felt that they just needed to continually validate themselves by talking about all of their accomplishments. So I think it's really important to share your work and what you've done and let people know that yes, you've accomplished these things and you've, you've, you've made these gains and you've achieved these outcomes. But then there comes a point where it's just about who you're being. You know, you're just standing in that space and you're vibrating that energy because you're, you know, you just know. And you just know you, you know you beyond knowing anything else. And no one can argue that point. Hey, John, no one can argue that point. When you know you and you know your greatness and you know that your life is your destiny and you do not doubt your power, no one can ever fuck with you. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Like you just emit that vibration and all the people that come along that think that they're going to suck energy from people and take advantage of situations. Hi, Tony. Nice to see you. They, they won't even find you. 
you'll be so far off their radar that they won't even find you. And how do I know this? How can I say this with such knowingness? Because I've been there, been through it all, experienced it all. You know, I, I moved to a new country by myself. I've traveled all over the world. I've created absolutely every accomplishment that I have. And I did it on my own. Nobody gave me anything. I worked for it. I took ownership of my talent, my gifts, my greatness. And I just kept putting it out there without any expectation. Because at the end of the day, I validate me. I don't need anybody to validate what I know. And this is what I'm talking about for 2019. I would like you all to get to that space within yourself. So it's really time to tune in and acknowledge yourself and why you're here in this journey, in this life. We all have a special element to ourselves. Hi, Lynn King. Nice to see you. We all have a special element to ourselves. And when you look at the people in the world that you consider to be great, whether it's a musician, whether it's a actor, actress, an amazing director, and the president of a country, the managing director or CEO of a global organization, like who, who are you following? Those are the people you look up to, you place them above you. And I want you to stop that. Stop placing people above you and actually start to cultivate a relationship, a deep and meaningful relationship with yourself that is where you get yourself into a knowingness. And that knowingness is what is the special spark that was a gift that God, the universe, Buddha, Allah, I don't care, whatever your religion, whatever your belief system is, that was placed in you when you came here. Do you know what that is? Because if you don't, right now is the time to start asking yourself questions so that you can self-discover that. And here's the deal. When you start talking to yourself in this way, it starts to answer you. Believe me, I talk to myself out loud every day, all day long. And when I start to slide into this space of negativity or doubt, hi, Kimberly. Um, if I start to slide into this negative space, then I start talking to myself out loud and it brings me back to who I am instead of the energy of somebody else instead of the energy of fear in society. Hi, Andrew. Instead of the energy of what's going on in the media. So I don't really tune into what's happening in the media. I just, it just doesn't have a place in my reality. It just doesn't. You know, you can get all wound up. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Kimberly, do us a favor and pop into the comment your experience from the last, uh, the Shift Change Heal Your Money Story course and, um, and what you said yesterday when we were wrapping up the course about, about taking the class. So, you know, it's, um, it's really time to transcend all the judgments, especially the judgments that you place on yourself. If negative emotion or um, 
a negative driver like fear or doubt or a limiting belief moved you into success, then every person on the planet that's hard on themselves would be super successful. I was coaching this executive from Merrill Lynch. He was in their Los Angeles headquarters. And he had done very well for himself, obviously. He was in the, in the C-suite. And he'd hit a wall. So I was working with him for a while. And I identified that where he was tripping himself up was in his negative self-talk. And he had learned it from his relationship with his father. He just was continuing the pattern. And finally, one day I said to him, you know, you cannot browbeat yourself into success. So the driver that got you to this point is not going to take you into 2019. It's really seriously time to change your belief system. It's time to change your inner dialogue. I'm going to turn on a light and see how that helps us. Might be a little too bright. Oh, it's better. Yeah, I'm losing sunlight. You know, speaking of sunlight, wow, going into the winter solstice was a bit of a ride, wasn't it? As the days got shorter and shorter, I was like, wow, I can't wait for winter solstice and the days to start getting longer. And then we're returning to the light and we're having this amazing experience of possibilities. So, you know, not only will your life get quicker, but it will also get richer. And this is what I want to have you experience is a couple of things. So when you dial into your personal pronoun, like who you're being with you, your life starts to expand. There is not enough action. There's not, hey, Jason. Hey, Bob, nice to see you. And David, wow, I'm so into what I'm talking about that I didn't even see you guys pop in here. Um, when you get really dialed into who you are, there isn't enough hard work or hours spent or grinding it out in the office that can elevate you. It just, you, there's no comparison. It really is about alignment. And this is what I was trying to say early on in the show when I was talking about this marriage between science and art and spirituality and business. It's, it's um, like even in the allopathic medical model and how we've been overrun with um, drugs like pharmaceuticals and how the pharmaceutical companies have basically are in total control of our medical world. And it's really um, disconnected us from being in charge of our own healing. Hi, Karen from British Columbia. <laughs> nice to see you. So we're now into a space of, of quantum healing, quantum energy, quantum reality, where the relationship that we have with ourselves is really the key to everything in our lives. It's the key to how your body functions. It's the key to how your business flows. It's the key to the quality of the relationships that you have in your life. It's the key to your happiness, it's the key to how you achieve everything, how you create everything. You know, what else is possible? What else is possible? Doesn't matter how old you are. You know, I just, I have zero relationship with that number age. Like, I, what is that? That doesn't have any meaning to me. It's about energy. You can make yourself younger. You know, you can talk. Your thymus lies in the center of your chest, kind of behind your heart, so to speak, your rib cage. You can talk to your thymus. 
you can you can thank thank always with gratitude you can thank your thymus for waking up for being alive for being alert to fueling your immune system you can talk to your digestive system and thank it for being efficient for keeping you healthy you can talk to your heart did you know that your heart has a mind that they've actually discovered neurons in the heart that think you know this relationship now this awareness of uh, the relationship between our mind and our body has finally come to pass where we can not argue the point anymore and i've been teaching this for over 20 years where i've talked about how the mind is in every cell of your body you can talk to your cells you can talk to the molecules you can have a relationship with yourself on a cellular level and you can completely turn your entire body's health around you see by the time you start manifesting disease in the body you've disconnected yourself really deeply for probably a decent period of time from your inner being you've turned your back on yourself basically to the point where you start you actually cut off the flow of vital energy to your systems to your organs to the tissues to your skeletal system and yeah you can pump a lot of drugs and vitamins and nutrition into your body but if you don't believe it if you don't decide oh my gosh yeah i wanted to talk about choices today too this is gonna be a long show <laughs> um i wanted to talk about choices today so it's just a matter of deciding that this is who you are now being it's not even about deciding that something is working for you oh my gosh i was having this conversation with someone today about the next shift change heal your money story course and this gal asks me um so what do you is this like the the secret is this kind of like the secret and i'm like well first of all let me say this about the secret so the secret was really a wonderful tiny drop in the ocean of creating some awareness around the um, law of attraction. I'm going to just turn this light away a bit. It's a little strong. Um, and the law of attraction is only one law of the universe. It's just one. You know, everybody thinks, oh, law of attraction. I understand the law of attraction. I've got the whole thing dialed. Law of attraction is only like a tiny snippet of how this universe functions. And if, the more I study neuroscience, the more I realize what I don't know. And I've been studying this and teaching everything I learn all my life and going really deep into it where I'll spend sometimes weeks alone where I don't want to be around people because I'm just downloading tons and tons and tons of, of data and information and it's changing me. It's shifting me. And I just stay with the flow of it. So sometimes, yeah, I'm kind of antisocial and a lot of people don't understand it, but it's to me, it's why I'm on the planet. I know why I'm on the planet. I'm on the planet to do exactly what I'm doing right now. This is it. And it brings me great pleasure. Hey, Linda Good, thank you for the love, baby girl. So Kimberly Roblin was in my last uh, Shift Change Heal Your Money Story program. And it's a nine module course that I teach online and I teach it live on Zoom. Um, so I basically select less than 10 people for the course. 
this last one, um, I chose five or six people and we went through a nine module program. It's once a week, it's two hours live. And then depending on what uh, level membership you come in at, I give you the recordings. And we just finished yesterday, our module nine. It was kind of bittersweet. And um, so this is what Kimberly has to say. After taking the shift, change and heal your money story, I'm beaming. I felt my walls crumbling down around me and looking forward to what I'll be creating. I'm so happy to have made the choice to take this course and create all I am meant to be. Wow. Thank you. That's beautiful. I really, that means everything to me because I pour my whole being into my work. And uh, I really, truly appreciate that. So look, um, we've got 15 minutes left and um, I'm not even the fourth point through this, what I wanted to share with you guys today. But um, thank you, Jason, for that comment. Wow, so much knowledge. Yes, and take it inside, you know, take it into your being and talk to yourself. I think this is the biggest, next to the energy pull, which I'll, I'll do a five minute energy pull with you guys. Um, and then we'll wrap up. How's that sound? So next to the energy pull, I would say to you, really start talking to yourself out loud, like every day, all day long. Talk to yourself out loud. Talk to yourself about what you're creating. Talk to yourself about who you're being. Talk to yourself about how you feel about who you're being. Talk to yourself about the goals that you're creating. Like literally say them out loud. I used to, um, and I still do, I used to write them down, but it's just not enough sometimes. And the reason I say that isn't because I expect you to do like a million different things around creating. But you have to just get to know yourself. So when you when you write them down, do you really get into the feeling? Because sometimes I can write stuff down, but I don't really feel it. Like I kind of feel it, but I don't really like feel it. But when I'm when I'm walking around my home and I'm saying it out loud, it's like, yeah, like I'm in the zone, like I'm living it. That's how I want to say it to you. Start living it energetically and you will then be it. Because then what it does is it transforms from just being like energy and it rolls like right into your life and expresses and actualizes itself as your life. So that's a really pivotal point is that you start talking out loud to yourself. So uh, let me just take a moment here. Um, so your life gets quicker and the substance of your life gets richer, but you will never get down on yourself again. You know, once you start to transition into that space of being the creator of your own reality, it becomes super powerful. And I guess I would say like the co-creator because it's connecting to source. And I'll talk to source and I'll say, okay, okay, guys, it's you and me, babe. Like I'm thinking the thoughts. And if I'm thinking the thoughts, then you're thinking the thoughts too. And so I'm the physical portal like I can, I can pick up the phone and call the people you want me to call. I can send the emails. I can do a, you know, the Deborah Peters show and reach the world. Just guide me, and I'm open to the guidance. So how do I, how do I get to that space? I meditate. I meditate every day. It's how I start my day. I never talk to anybody first. I never, I never look up my email first caught myself doing that a couple times this week and I'm like, all right, falling off the wagon here, Peters, get back on, right? So, you know, shut your phone off when you go to sleep 
leave it off until after you meditate. Do a meditation for 10 minutes. Do an energy pull for 10 minutes. Boom. Your day's yours, right? So let's do that now. I want to do a five-minute energy pull and kind of just give you a taste of what that's all about. And, um, and then we'll wrap up the show. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to close your eyes and I just want you to take a deep breath in. Just take a deep breath in and just relax, let it go. Deep breath in again and relax and just let it go. And now what I'd like you to start to do is I want you to think about what you would like 2019 to be. And as you're thinking about what you'd like 2019 to be, I want you to get into the feeling of that. So what are you, who are you being in 2019? What is 2019 being with you? And I want you to start to feel that energy of whatever it is for you. And just get a sense of what that feels like on every level. The enthusiasm, the happiness, the success, the flow, the ease, the grace the wealth, the amazing friends. Keep high John Ortiz and Elsa's here. Good, wonderful. Just keep bringing that together. And I'd like you to picture like you have a ball of energy in front of you, kind of front of your heart, in front of your solar plexus. And inside that ball, I want you to put that energy of 2019 and everything that you're being, and I don't mean doing, I mean the beingness of you, the beingness of you, the greatness, the destiny of you, the legacy of you, that spark in you that was planted in you when you came here by source, by God, whatever, whatever your word is, whatever your belief is. And I want you to put that into that ball of energy in front of you. And then I want you to actually start imagining yourself out past the edge of the planet. So expand yourself out, expand yourself out, expand yourself out past the edge of the planet. And by the way, if you want more on this, you can go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. And you can also reach me for my next course, which is coming up in January. And that's the Shift, Change, and Heal Your Money Story course. So just go ahead and put that into that ball. And I want you to start pulling energy through the ball, through your heart, out the back, and out into the universe and just keep pulling it through and pulling it through and continue to just pull it through and just embracing all of that energy of who you're being in 2019 and breathe it in and let it just flow through you flowing through the universe through the ball of energy in front of you through your heart, out your back, and cycling it back around through the universe. And now imagine that you are the center, you're the center of the planet, and you're out larger than the planet. So go out into the, past the solar system, past the galaxies, past the universe. Keep going, and when you think you can't go any further, Go out further, just keep expanding your energy. And I want you to keep pulling that, pulling that energy through you and through your heart and out your back and keep pulling it until you're actually pulling it through all of your molecules. 
So the entire universal energy that makes up worlds, all of source energy, is pulling through you, through your energy ball, and through your heart. And keep pulling it through and pulling it through until you realize that you are actually the universe. And the universe now is in you. That you're no longer this small speck in this colossal universe, but the universe is actually in you. And you are the universe where the universe molecules and your molecules are one, that there's a oneness. And in this oneness, you are never a victim again. You are your greatest manifestation. You are your greatest legacy. You are your greatest destiny. And keep pulling that energy through you and out the back and circling it around and shooting it out past the planet from behind you, from below you, from beside you, from above you, and just keep expanding and keep pulling it through you. And now you can speed it up and you can speed it up and your entire year, your entire year of 2019, can come together right now, right away. There doesn't need to be this long wait. That's just a belief system that you have to wait for stuff to come. It's just a belief system. And, and whoever teaches you about divine timing is just telling you to give your power away. You are a divine and the timing is now. Ask for it now. Ask for it to come now. And the way to do that is just to shoot out little trickles of energy all the way around you, 360 degrees, all across the planet, out into the universe, and let it connect to everyone, every event, every person, every being, everything, every energy, that can contribute to you being your most profound, prolific, expansive beingness of 2019. And that contribution can come without you ever meeting them. It can come from them tuning in and picking up on your energy, picking up on your thought, picking up on your emotion. It can come from through deed and meeting you in person, but it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. It can just come through you, out your heart, in the back, and back out into the universe. And now let's multiply that by millions and by billions and godzillions and just make it so incredible that you use no measurement to the magnificence of this and the magnificence of you. And now you can talk to all of those beingness, those things that you've said you want to be, and you can invite them and you can invite them to follow those trickles back to you, to your life, to your experiences, to who you are being. And you can invite them now and right away and immediately and this moment. And there no longer has to be this waiting game. Stop playing the waiting game. It's bullshit. Whoever taught you that just does the same thing in their lives. They don't know either because there is no past. There is no future. All there ever was, all there is, and all there ever will be is right now. And you can be all that you can be right here and right now. And when you make this your focus, Nothing else 
matters and you become the reason you're on this planet, you become your own legacy, you become your own message, your life becomes your message. And now you can open your eyes and you can come back into present time. And I'm sorry about all this crazy lighting. I lost the daylight. The day is done. So thank you so much for tuning in. We've been on here for an hour and I could continue to, to talk more, but I won't because there's always the next show. Please and thank you for joining me today and inviting your tribe, inviting your friends, for sharing this with the world, for sending this out to all of your connections and your groups so that they can have this tool to create 2019 and to ask for it all now and to be open to receiving because it really is truly just about that. And I invite you to come and attend my Shift, Change, and Heal Your Money Story course. It starts the second week of January. And I look so forward to having you be a part of that next course. And in February is the Business Accelerator Boot Camp. So lots of good stuff happening. My new book is coming out, new website. I'm on fire, baby. And so happy to have you be a part of my life. Have a blessed evening, everyone. Happy New Year. And I will see you on Tuesday at 4 o'clock. All right, take care. Mwah.